Now we begin. And indeed, beloved friends, what a beginning it has been, and what a beginning it continues to be. For in truth, each moment renewed is that beginning, is that perfect moment gifted unto you by the Father, that holds within it the potential for you to recognize and to be the perfect expression of truth and light that you are. So, now, we begin. The beginning is the beginning. It has no concern for what has come the moment before. There is no need in any way, shape, or form to carry into this beginning anything, any story, any presumption, any memory or idea, any perception. Now, we begin. Beloved friends, now we begin. And so I ask of you, verily, what is it that you would choose for yourself now? Holy, 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 independent from the past. The present moment is, indeed, the gift that you choose for yourself. And there is no limit upon the generosity of the Father. There is no stipulation. There is no suggestion even. There is no border. There is no boundary. There is no filter. There is only the perfect freedom. The perfect freedom to express and extend whatever you most truly desire. Now, we begin. Whatever you most truly desire. Why, you may ask, do we bring this to you in this moment? The answer is very simple, dear ones. For you are the source of the experience that you are having. There are, as we know you are aware, movements of energy within the vortex of creation that you call the worlds, upon worlds, upon worlds, upon this glorious planet. There is much being stirred in the communal pot of humanity at this time, and it is, we see and know, a temptation to forget the simplicity of your position and to contract into old habitual patterns of creating within the field of time and space. And so, in this moment, we offer unto you the simplicity of, uh, shall we say, you are not bound to the past. You are not bound to the story. You are not bound to events that unfolded four lifetimes before. You are free now. And now we begin. What is it that you would truly, 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 truly desire to experience? As a vibrational quality, as a field of energy from which you create your tomorrows, as a moment in time in which you know you have the power to bring unto yourself that frequency, that essence, that light that has the potential and the power to illuminate the whole world. This is a time to return to the simplicity of the truth. For the truth will set all beings free. You have come to this planet, each and every one of you, to embody the truth, and not simply to conceptualize, to understand, to hold the information of what the truth is, but to embody, to open the heart of your heart, to reside in the center of your body, to breathe deeply of the light of the Holy Spirit that is within each and every breath, to allow the alchemy of light within your consciousness to remind you of what alone is truth. And this is the time for truth in its glorious simplicity. You are not separate from all creation. There is not one thread of beingness, of consciousness in all creation that has ever accomplished, even for the nanosecond, the separation that you have convinced yourself was real and true. Life flows through you. 
We ask you now to simply acknowledge that life is moving through you now. It is, in truth, undeniable. And life is God. Life is Abba. Life is the creative essence of all beings and all things. And that life that flows through you now flows through all creation. You are at one. You have always been at one with Abba. The Father flows through you in this instant. Now we begin. What do you truly want if it is not the truth? The truth is that you are one with your Father now. It could never be another way. For your very existence is that one. Life itself that animates you, that flows through you, that gives you consciousness and existence is that one now. And as this world and the worlds within it go through these stirrings of transformation, it is the greatest value for yourself as an individual and collectively for the whole of humanity to sit in the embrace of truth. And this is not a position from which to philosophize. This is a position from which to breathe and feel. This is not a position to engage in the world from the ego or from fear. This is a position to breathe, to feel, to come into the heart and to bless. To bless the creation that is unfolding before you. To enfold the world within the sphere of your love. To pull the world in. To embrace. As if it were a child within your care. To fully embrace the world in love. This is a time to breathe and feel in communion as truth with the divinity of yourself. Now we begin. There is nothing that has come from before that can disallow you or disqualify you for embracing the truth of your beingness in this moment. It is a great delusion of the mind to say that you cannot be the essence of truth and Christ in this moment because something has occurred that you have created in the past. Let us, let us cut this belief away. Let us dissect the consciousness from this falseness. Let us dissolve the attachment of mind. Let us relax the grip. For this time calls for your presence and your presence as the light that you are and have always been. This time calls for your heart, your love as soul, as Christ, as the peace that passes all understanding. And this is available to you now, beloved friends of the heart, this is available to you now, for you are willing to choose it over and above your attachment to the ideas and judgments of the past. Would you be willing, would you truly desire in this moment to be the light that lights the world, to come into the alignment, to open your being to receive the light of your soul and your truth? directly aligned with the highest frequency of consciousness, your divine self, Abba, to be the conduit, to be the vessel, to be the instrument through which that great light can penetrate the darkness of the world. To show your brothers and your sisters simply by being and breathing and feeling and allowing and surrendering and opening and opening and opening and receiving that there is another way that it does not need to be understood or worked out. It does not need to be constructed in the earthly part of the mind. It does not need to be philosophized about. It does not need to be planned or mapped. You can simply open and in the moment choose to focus with clarity and intention upon the desire to embody the truth of yourself. Whatever has happened in the past is not the truth of you. Your truth is now. What do you truly, truly 
truly desire. Now we begin. Now we begin again. Every moment is gifted unto you with the same possibility, the same potentiality. Now we begin again. Believe me when I say this, you can be perfectly awake in one moment and perfectly asleep and back in the dream the moment later. Because each moment holds the potentiality of both states. What sits at the heart of your experience is your choice. The world cannot dictate to you the frequency of your being. The past cannot dictate to you the frequency of your being. It is a choice to believe you can and now. In this moment, we say unto you, choose to open and receive the light of yourself. The queendom of heaven is present. If it was not present here and now, life would not be flowing, for life only flows through the queendom of heaven. And life is happening all about you, is it not? Do the waves of the ocean not scream at you that they are alive? The clouds in the sky, the birds in the trees sing every morning of their life, of the beauty of their life. Life is happening here. This is the queendom of heaven. It is time to embrace it and dissolve the illusion of separation that is projected out of mind upon that which is. Upon the reality of the queendom. Now we begin. It's a simple choice. I choose to open to the reality of myself and the queendom of heaven. As it is before me within me and around me. I choose to open to the reality of myself as the Christed soul. I choose to open and allow that reality to permeate the form of my beingness here from soul to self and inform my very breath in every moment of the truth that is true always, that I am not separate and that the breath that breathes me is the breath that breathes through all in the cosmos. That the breath that breathed me breathed my brother and my sister simultaneously. The breath that breathed me is the living spirit, is life itself. As I am, as you are, as we are. Now we begin. Now we begin, beloved ones. When we embody this simple truth, you do not need to figure it out or understand. You do not need to know what anything is or for. Now we begin. Would you begin again in each moment, beloved friends? Would you begin again now? And now? And now, with the simple process of opening and welcoming the light of soul as Christ into the forms of the world. To remember. To remind. To be the light within the darkness. To illuminate all. To be the light that shines constantly, continuously. Because you choose in every moment, once again, and once again, and once again that that is what you decree. That is what you have chosen. That is who you choose to be. We say unto you, beloved friends of the heart, there is a great change occurring. We say also unto you that the outcome of the change is not yet fully written. There are many potentialities possibilities. You might call them timelines. We call out to you from the heart of Christ to embody light within this plane now. For the more light that makes its way into the seams and the threads of this world, now and in the moments to come, and the days to come, and the weeks to come, and the months to come, and the years to come, will determine 
will determine the degree of acceleration that occurs within the atonement for all humanity, for all beings on earth and for the earth itself. What do you truly want? How much energy, devotion, discipline, breath, time, conviction, intention can you bring to that? Let us say this unto you, beloved friends of the heart. Trust in me when I say unto you, when you open in truth to the light of your Christed soul, you will know joy in the midst of all darkness. You will know laughter and play in the midst of all seriousness. You will know love, pure, whole, in the midst of great fear. You will be the antithesis of all the world believes itself to be, and you will be the anchor of the light from which the world will be forced, through the power of grace to change. Do choose which path you will take now. And beloved friends, when you do choose the path of fear, remember that now we begin. Nothing is written in stone. There is no obligation to honor the choices of the past. Let me repeat this. There is no obligation to honor the choices of the past. Now we begin. In this moment, wholly free from any condition, Holy free, now you are holy free, now to choose what you want. And so, beloved friends, we will leave you with a simple message. We love you and we are grateful unto you for taking upon yourself the challenges of incarnating into this world at this time. We honor you. We honor you for being willing to accept the responsibility of healing from the divisions in your own mind that you have created in order to experience separation at a time in the unfolding of the cycle of this planet in which she herself has chosen to awaken from the veils of restriction and limitation that she has placed upon herself in order to have the experience that she desired to have. And we would offer you the key to place within the whole that is with on the manacles around your wrists and feet and the chains from which you have bound yourself through duty and obligation to a past that does not exist, save within your mind. To hook yourself into events in time and space that occurred within the field of illusion, upon the plane of creation that really is. That you have judged, that you have made yourself wrong for. We ask you now, nay, we encourage you now, Nay, we implore you now, release yourself from the bondage of your own judgments and to come into this moment in clarity and purity, having shrugged off the cloaks of delusion and illusion from your past, to simply say the words, I open to receive the Christed soul. I am, me and my Father are one, now as it has always been. And now we begin, and I choose, and I choose, and I choose, and I choose to align with love, to be the presence of that which I came here to be, to be the presence of that which I came here to be. Now we begin, and if you find that the past you grip onto still, and guilt arise within your body, it's okay for you, you are not bound to that experience. Now we begin. Ah, I choose love. Now I choose to set myself free. I choose to relax the grip that I have held upon the past. I choose to love now. Peace then be unto you, holy and beloved child of God. Amen. <laughs>